Hi, beautiful. Today, I'm teaching you how to cut layers on your own hair. I'm going to be simplifying everything as much as possible so you at home do not ruin your hair when you go and try to cut layers in it. Because I've seen way too many people literally destroy their hair. Okay, before I get started, I need to do a couple disclaimers. This tutorial is by no means an advanced professional tutorial. The difference between doing this at home and going to a hair salon, you're gonna get a one size fit it's all a type of haircut with my tutorial today. But if you were to go to a salon and see a skilled professional hairstylist, then you're gonna get something a lot more custom and cut to your exact specifications. And I also realized that there's a lot of people in the world who are never going to see a hairstylist or go into a salon and prefer to do it themselves. So I'm here to help you because I want you to be able to do it better and I want you to have the tools necessary to be able to cut layers on your own hair and not completely fuck it up. You're welcome. Now, we need to know what tools we need. A Home. One that has wider teeth on one side is preferable. That way you can nicely section your hair and you don't need a pink comb, but I also highly recommend that because when you're cutting your own hair, you gotta feel extra as fuck. So pink combs are recommended. Now you also need a pair of these hair cutting scissors. I don't wanna see any kitchen scissors, any craft scissors, any children's scissors. I've seen it all. Just buy yourself a cheap ass pair of hair cutting scissors. I think you can buy some for like $5 or less, but they do get dull quick. So the more expensive ones don't get as dull as quick, but the less expensive ones are kind of for like one time uses, I think. So be careful. You want sharp as fuck scissors for a great cut. You're also going to want some clips. It really helps keep sections in place. Now the next item is optional. These are thinning shears. There will be a section in this video that I show you how to use these, but they are not completely necessary and you can do the haircut without them. And lastly, I love a good detangling spray. I'm obviously using my own Hydromania Conditioning Mist. This just helps work through the hair much easier. So put a little conditioner in your hair, something to make it more smooth and easy to work through. Let's bring in my client, shall we? Who do we have today? Hello, client, client, what? They don't wanna be a part of the video. Okay, I did burn the girl's hair off in the last video, but I need one of the mannequins today. I'm showing people what to do, not what not to do, okay? It'll be fine if she's gonna do it. If I pay her how much money? $5,000? <laughs> um, that's a lot of money, but I will make it work. Let's invite Miss What's your name? Miss Manny Quinn. Oh, there she is. Hold on. Hello. Thank you for being here today. You're a very expensive model, I must say. Um, but thanks for being. What? I better not fuck your hair up. You better not be a shit client. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say to you. <laughs> okay, you need to stop talking. Oh, that, yeah, okay, thank you. That's enough. I promise you're not gonna end up like the rest of the mannequins. You will have a cute haircut and a good blowout. No bleach today, I promise. Okay, she's yelling. Oh. Okay, these mannequins are getting like more and more crazy as I go. What happened to you guys? Step one, make sure your hair is wet and don't skip that step because every time I make these tutorials, y'all skip that step. What's up with that? It'll make the haircut look so much better. Stick your head in the sink. Stick your head in the shower. Take a shower, you know, cause you stink a little bit. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you stink a little bit. And let's put our Hydromania conditioning mist in so we can work through the hair much easier and have it be nice and slippery soft. Okay, step two, section the hair. We're gonna do the most basic sectioning of all. We're gonna part the hair in the middle. And for some reason, I can never get the middle, but I get made fun of for this constantly by my friends. Whenever I do their hair, I don't know what it is about middle parts, but they hate me. Okay, that's the middle. Come on, awesome. Section the hair and see where the high point is by the part that touches your head. We're gonna take the comb and section from the high point to behind the ear just like that. Now, your hair being nice and wet will really help section the hair easily without clips. So if you don't wanna use clips, you don't have to. I'm just gonna go like that and we'll just do a little, little twisty poo or you can put a little clip in. I'm just gonna go like that because it's easier for me and I'm used to that. Now do the same thing on the other side. Easy, you're doing great and you're trying, I like to see it. Now we're gonna go from that part in the center all the way down to the nape of the neck and those are your next two sections. 
And that is the back two sections. Now take a moment, don't stress yourself out, and get this sectioning as good as you can get it. That is the full sectioning, super easy. Now let's move on to the next step, which is just cutting the length. The more hair you have, the more sections you'll wanna take with this, but let's just get the length in order before we then start cutting the layers into the hair. I'm just gonna take pretty large sections in the back of the head in those last two sections we did. Just like that at an angle. And now what I'm gonna do is comb the hair straight down. If this was you, you'd be going like this by yourself and pulling your fingers down the hair to the length you want to cut and bringing it forward and not releasing the tension. That is so important. You'd be clamping your fingers on wherever you wanted to cut it and then pulling it forward without releasing any tension and then cut the hair. That way this gives you a nice straight line in the back and it's not all jagged and shit and you can actually see what you're cutting at the same time. So let me cut this back. She has a lot of straggly, nasty hair, so let me get rid of that. And by the way, this is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial on how to cut your length. This is really about the layers. And if you already like the length of your hair, you can skip this step. Now let's check that is even. Okay, good. Now let's let down the rest of the hair and let's cut this layer to the same length as the previous. You should be able to see through the hair in order to see your guide underneath. My guide is right there. I'm just gonna cut right there. All right, now that the back length is cut, great job, you're doing it, I'm so proud of you. Let's do the front, and now because she has such straggly, nasty hair, I'm not going to section this out, I'm just gonna cut across. Um, if your hair is super thick, I'd recommend taking more than one single section, but in this case, we don't need to. And you're just cutting this the same length as you cut the back. And let's make sure that section stays in place. Now that we cut the front, all done with that. Let's get that section back out, and let's do the other side. Now let's move on to the layers. <laughs> so you should still have your hair sectioned out in the back. You're gonna be taking a sort of triangular section at the top of those two sections, just like this. That is what it'll look like. We're gonna take a little piece from the front of it. We're gonna let the rest drop down, twist it though, so you don't lose it. This is gonna be your guide, all right? So take this piece and mark where you want your shortest layer to land. And listen, you can always take more off later. I would recommend starting longer rather than shorter because if you make any mistakes, it doesn't grow back right away. It does eventually, but don't go too crazy and don't make your layers too short or else it won't connect to your length. I recommend somewhere around the cheekbone or lower than that. So I'll cut this first piece right at the cheekbone. And that is our guide for the shortest layer. Ensure that you're not taking a gigantic section up here. That's definitely something you don't wanna do. Make this just as big as mine. It's sort of like one inch by one inch by two inches across the top. Let's cut that hair where our guide is. We're just gonna cut right across. Oh my God, you're killing it. Look at that layer. Oh yeah. Okay, so now obviously this looks nuts. So we gotta connect everything. We gotta make this all look blended. And how are we gonna do that? I'm glad you asked, because I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna get those two sections sectioned back out, push that one to the side. Now let's take a bit more hair, pull that hair up to the top, and let's cut the next layer to the same length we cut the last section. So you'll see when you pull up the hair, you'll see that bit of shorter hair behind it. You're gonna cut the hair right there where that previous section was cut. And now we're gonna do that again. We're gonna go down a little bit farther. All right, we'll pull that section up and we will cut where our guide is again. Beautiful. And this is exactly what you want when you get to the last section, you don't want to have to cut any hair, okay? That is kind of the idea. You might have to just trim a little bit, but it should meet up with those layers. That is what mine looks like. And we'll let it down and you will see that you have beautiful blended layers. And it took literally two seconds. Next step, we're gonna do the same exact thing, but to the other side of the head. Remember, we're taking a little bit more hair this time, cutting where our guide is at the top. These will be your biggest cuts. And then as you go down the head, it should get to be less and less hair that you're cutting. And just like that, you just completed the back of your head. Hell yeah. And now in order to check what you just did, you can really take any sloppy section in the back, lift it all up to the top of your head. And if you're getting a nice straight line at the top like that, that means you did it right. All right, Miss Manny Quinn, how are we doing, babe? 
You're uncomfortable and hot? What do you want? More money? I'm not paying you more money for this shit. No, no. I, I, okay, please, please stay. These fucking mannequins, man. They are getting like so... Mmm, now she wants to cut up my AdSense because she's in this video. Sorry, no can do. Uh, moving on, you'll be fine, okay? Good thing you don't have legs or arms or anything because you can't get out of here. You can't move. Okay, yes, you're right, you can yell. Your voice is very loud, please stop. I'm trying to do tutorial. Please, I can't. All right, we're moving on to the front of the hair. Now, let's take a triangle section, just like we did in the back. Keep this all sectioned out nicely. All right, so that is the section. It was previously this way with that hair, and then I sectioned it out like that. Now, we're taking a small piece from the back section at the top, and that is going to be our guide for cutting the front layers. That is our guide for the rest of this side. Now we're gonna take the same sort of triangular sections, just a very little bit at a time, and we're gonna lift it up and we are gonna cut the hair at the, our guide. Let's do the same thing until we get to the bottom of the head. Again, you're taking just a little bit across each time and we're meeting the hair at the top and we are cutting. Now, when you let this down, you are going to get face framing layers, so beware of that. Okay, and then continue to work down the head until you have cut all of the hair. When you get to the last section, you want to be pulling it up and hardly cutting anything off of it. Oh, baby, you look good. And we'll do a little check. We'll just pull up a random section and we'll see how nice it is at the top. Okay, even and fabulous. Boom! Let's do the same exact thing for the other side. Let's take our triangular section. Let's take a little piece from the opposing side and let's use that as our guide. And we will do a little chop at the top. Again, taking small sections diagonally across the head and cutting the hair where the guide is. All right, let me finish this side off real quick. Yes! We did it. So now that we're done with the bulk of the work, let's just refine things and make it look crisp and perfect. Now, the front of the hair, what we wanna do is take all of this hair as much as possible, right up in the front, and bring it over. We're just gonna fix this up. We're gonna cut where that shortest piece is, just like that, and then take a bit more from the side, going back, and kind of angle it down into the length. You don't wanna cut straight across. You wanna kinda of have it go from shorter to longer as you cut. Now, every Everything is perfectly connected and everything looks beautiful. All right, let's do the same thing to the opposite side. Taking this hair, combing it in the opposite direction, and you see that middle piece that's short? We're gonna cut the hair to meet that piece, and then we're gonna take the rest of the hair in that section and do the same thing and cut where that guide is. We're also gonna angle our fingers so we are working that hair into the length and not just cutting completely straight across. Let's check and ensure that everything is even in the front by combing it down straight. That looks pretty good to me. It's not gonna be completely straight across. It's gonna have a bevel at the ends that is totally normal. You just wanna make sure those two front pieces are even. You just did a layered haircut on yourself and I hope it looks dope. For styling the hair, I'm gonna use my go-to's, which is electric green moisture cream for that smooth, healthy, sexy hair. We're gonna put this on the ends first and then work our way up with it. And of course, I'll be putting in some force field heat shield to protect from heat damage. Force field also helps keep your style for longer. It has a bit of hold in it, but it makes your hair still feel very smooth and sexy. Voila! The blowout has been completed and she looks so much better. Oh my god, look at those layers, baby! I also want to say that Miss Manny Quinn um, actually did apologize to me for not trusting me. You're welcome, Miss Manny Quinn. Now, you can finish here, but I'm going to give you a little optional step. And that is to blend this shit even more. If you like that sort of like harsh layered look, which I, I also do too, you can leave it there. But if you want a more blended, seamless look, then you can do this part. Also, if you have very, very thick hair, this will probably be good for you because you probably have like literal rows of layers going on and that's not always the cutest. We are first going to take a very large section 
from the top of her hair, just like that. We are going to twist this hair a few times. The middle of the hair, we are just going to make our first cut, our second cut, our third cut, our fourth cut, our fifth cut. We're just gonna cut the hair about a half an inch down at a time until we get to the ends. And that is going to give you a beautiful feathered look in the front. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our back section like we had before. We are going to lift this hair all the way up again. It's okay if some hair drops down, but we are going to twist this hair a bunch of times and we are going to cut, 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 cut. And you can also totally repeat this step as much as you want until you get rid of the bulk that you want. I think her hair looks great just like this, so I am just gonna do that much. I'm not gonna go over it again, but do it as many times as you need to, baby. So we're gonna do the same thing on the front just like we did in the back. And here is the final completed look. Oh my God. Do you see much more blended these layers are now? Like, look at that. That is going to fall perfectly no matter where your hair blows around. So much healthier looking, so much more full looking. And look at all that layering in there. And also look at this face framing moment going on. Oh, that's hot. We can mess it up. Let's do a little of this and a little bit of this because that's my favorite thing to do ever. And damn, still hot, gorgeous and look at all the volume she has. My job here is done. And you, I hope, have a beautiful layer haircut now. Back in the closet you go, Miss Manny Quinn. But you, my friend, look better than all the other girls in there. Don't tell them I said that. I don't need any more beef with these mannequins. They're all wild. Well, I hope you learned how to do a beautiful layered haircut very easily. I'm excited to see the videos you guys create trying this tutorial out. So hopefully you end up with something as gorgeous as what Miss Manny Quinn has today. Doing hair correctly is something that takes a long time to perfect. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't work out right away. If you want to check out any of the products in today's video, you can do so at xmodohair.com. Yes, they're all made by me formulated by me, tested by me. They are sickening and you will love them so much. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.